are we going to call it? Rock it Rocking it with Rocky? Part one. Or should we just do some sort of rock thing every time? Oh, I like it. Yeah. All right. It probably won't be quite as good audio quality because we're, you know, the, we're not right on top of it, but it'll be good. That's okay, yeah. All right, episode... So this is recording right here? Yeah, that's recording, that's recording. Hi, everybody, on YouTube. This is a pre-episode YouTube special. Right. So, hello, everybody. We're about to do... This is the first of its kind. I mean, we've recorded yeah. ourselves podcasting before, but never... A full episode. Yeah, never a full episode, never with the intent to have also this uh, YouTube audience watching us. So now, th this isn't our normal this studio. Is no, no, this is a little bit different. Ben's got some awesome movie chairs yeah. i know i do kind of want to do should we recline Why during this not? okay yeah if you have fancy movie theaters in your hometown yeah. you've got recliners there and that's what ben has right here behind the camera there's a screen that comes down from the ceiling you can watch our dune review to see that yep the yeah. projector is above me i mean this is an awesome viewing experience right here so yeah. we just watched the movie rocky the first of the seven movies now in that franchise. Right. And we are going to watch one a month or more often yeah. than that if we really get into them. Right. And we're recording a podcast about every one mini review. So here we go. Kind of like the X-Files series we did, but a lot shorter and right. hopefully more fun. Uh, well, should we have a series title then? Should Rockin' It, Ro should Rockin it be called it Rockin' It with Rocky and then hyphen Rocky? Or should it just be, for this first one, we'll do Rockin' It with Rocky. Oh, yeah. Just like the movies. Then we could do Rockin' It with Rocky 2, uh, Rockin' It with Rocky, Rocky Balboa, Balboa, Rockin' It with Creed. Creed. Okay, yes, okay, got it. Perfect. Okay, perfect. All right. All right. So you got it. So episode 474, Rockin' It with Rocky. <laughs> Where the music, yeah, so this is a little different. So, if you're watching or listening to the podcast, the music would have started right there. So, yeah, you know, it's actually playing right now. Oh, well, there's also a video of us yeah, happening. And no, no, the video is the music will be on the video as well. Oh, so the music's probably fading out right about now. Right around Welcome now. Welcome to the Sci Fi Christian. Welcome to the Sci Fi Christian. I'm Matt Anderson. I'm Ben Bono. And we are the Sci Fi Christians here today to talk yeah, about Rocky, Rocky, the movie. Called Rocky. Right. I, I keep wanting to say Rocky One just to set the stage. Yeah, it's not Rocky One. It's not just Rocky. Well, so this was. I don't even remember how this idea came out, but it, it, you had an idea that we should watch Rocky. Okay. And then I hadn't gotten you a birthday present yet, so I got you the complete. It's over there. We can't reach it. Yeah. Rocky set. Well, by complete before Creed. Right. So I'm guessing six... they'll come out with a new one. Eventually, with, with Creed. Well, and, I was thinking about this. You think they'll do Creed two just to kind of keep with the franchise numbering? Probably. Or do you think? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I imagine Creed two is coming. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So this is my first time ever watching it. Me too. I had. Me too. So this is a classic. Neither of us have seen. Yeah, I really had no idea what it was about, other than there's an underdog boxer yeah. who was gonna win at the end. But guess what? Spoilers here. Spoilers well, for it's forty years old for this whole movie. Yeah. He did not win at the end. Kinda. It, it was it was a little loosey goosey. Well, I had mentioned to you they lowered the audience's expectations at that one point where he said, "I just want to go the distance," right. which means finish all fifteen rounds. Because there's fifteen rounds in boxing. We learned that tonight. <laughs> I we're in the middle of the movie and I and it goes from like two or three to seven, yeah. and then they're at thirteen, and we're like, how? How many rounds are there? I thought it was boxing? over at nine, but then you correctly uh, corrected me and said that's baseball. Yeah, baseball is over at nine. Yeah. So I guessed 10, and then I was thinking it can't be 15. It must be 20. Right. But guess what? I don't think they would have made it to It 20. was 15. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, so Rocky had said he just wants to go all 15 rounds without losing and getting knocked out, and he did it. Yeah. So I guess it's a win in his heart, but not a win on paper. Right. Yeah, so what what were you thinking going into it? What what was uh, did you think you were nah? I had low expectations to be honest. I was looking forward to the experience of watching it with you and right. now we have this 7 month plan activity, yeah. this it's plan. Like having a baby. Yeah. So I, I bet we'll go faster than 7 months. I don't think you think? So, yeah. 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 So I yeah, I had lower expectations for story-wise. I, I don't know. I know you like older films more than I do and as this one started, I was like here we go, slow and steady. I mean, yeah. but slow and steady in this sense won the race because it, they took time to build the character of Rocky. Right. Who is he? And there was a good payoff. You actually started to care about him. I thought he would stop working for the loan shark 
No. But he did not. He did not. <laughs> but maybe by Rocky two, he'll have quit. Yeah. No. Yeah, and I think that's part of what I like about old movies, though, is that if this movie was made today, and I haven't seen Creed, so maybe I'm completely wrong here, but it feels like. If this was a brand new franchise today, Hollywood would have mandated there be a big fight scene in the middle. Oh, sure. You would have had to have had... And that would have... Like, the fact that it's bookended by fight scenes is part of what I liked structurally about it. Yes, because prior to the movie, you thought he's going to be losing a lot right. in the film and then finally win at the end. That's what I thought. But he actually won decisively yeah. at the beginning and then lost at the end. I was well, completely wrong. So it was split decision with Apollo Creed... But then the judge awarded it to Creed, probably because Ty goes to the champ. Boxing's a weird sport. (laughs) They just, I mean, do you think in modern boxing, they let them fight to that extreme? Like, I haven't watched boxing, but the worst scene in the movie for me, you know what it was. When they They, sliced his eyelid open to reduce the swelling. Yeah, he he couldn't see out of his eyes, so they cut his eyelid open so he could see through it. Right. That is messed up. Do you think they do well, no, that? No, no, I don't think they cut his eye. I think that they... It's like I, a little window. No, no, it was swollen <laughs> shut. So I think they, like, sliced it open to release the fluid. No, I don't think so. I think... No, they didn't, they didn't I like, think, cut a window. In yeah, his, I no, think he was like, I need a new window. <laughs> I, I can't see... This was. is too swollen. I need to see through it. I don't think it. it was that. Trust me. I, I think between I, the two I'm of us... I'm going to do some research on this. <laughs> between the two of us, I believe I'm the boxing expert. <laughs> Really well, neither of us knew how many rounds there were. But you were closer, so... So, uh, what else do you want to say on this mini-review? Yeah, well, oh, we so haven't we... actually given our, our... We've only said yeah. what we thought. So I, I was maybe a little more excited about it than you, but I don't really like sports movies. So I was thinking kind of three, three and a half stars. I really, really liked yeah. it, though. <laughs> like, it was... It's one of those movies where you can kind of see every beat that's going to happen. Hmm. For the most part, yeah. I mean, you, like even oh, here comes the training montage. Yeah, well, we we're see... yeah, but we knew this yeah. is Rocky. That's like the right. biggest thing in this movie. Okay, but that that's true. But it to me, it was like one of those movies where you want it to be that way. Like it feels gratifying. It doesn't feel like oh, I already know what's coming, and so I'm bored with that, or I wish I hadn't known that. It was like no, I'm excited for it, you know. Yeah. And I really enjoyed it. I'd, I'd probably put it at like four, four and a half stars. I think that's where I land also. Uh, I could probably go all the way to four and a half. I mean, yeah. I want to let it sink in a little bit. But initial rating, four and a half. There were a few things that I thought were silly, but it might just be a product of its time. Yeah. Like the Adrian character changed drastically did. <laughs> in the middle of this movie. And I think there was a ton of things that you and I thought were funny and actually really funny. And I loved laughing at them. Yeah. That I bet at the time wasn't funny. Like little things where he's like flipping the light switch. Click. I think that was funny. I mean, I think it's part of what's great about it is that he is a dumb character, but the movie's so sincere with him. And, yeah. And it, the movie has such a sincerity, but it's also aware, uh, a self-awareness about it. And that it just really worked for me. Yeah. So they spent a lot of time at the beginning of the movie Building up him, Rocky doing these uh, kind of random acts of kindness. Like he brings yeah. the drunk guy inside. He He's nice to animals. Right. Uh, he's helping that teenage girl who's gaining in with a bad crowd. Yeah. So. Who I thought was going to be his sister, but it was not his just sister. Just a friend's just a friend. sister or something. So, and then. So I'm thinking, okay, he's doing all these good things. He's going to for sure at some point in this movie have to stop working for the loan shark who's clearly a criminal of some sort. Yeah. But he did not do that. So, but it, even there, he was nice. Like he didn't break the guy's thumb. That's right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So they spent a long time building him in, into the, this really nice character. So, yeah, you really can get behind this dumb. I mean, he he's an idiot. Yeah. Like, but you like him. So yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, we were talking about uh, Sylvester Stallone cast for this movie. Perfect. I mean, I haven't seen him in a lot of other things, but. I feel like from what I've seen him in like interviews and whatnot, yeah. it's kind of just seems. Like, I'm not saying he's an idiot. Like Rocky right. is maybe to an extreme, but just the way their mannerisms, the way they like, he they, doesn't. He, it basically feels right. like that is the real life guy, but you know, to an extreme for the Rocky character. Exactly. I mean, you think that's yeah. true? I, I don't know. I've I don't know anything about never him. Either, met, I've never met him. Maybe he's very articulate. Yeah. but that's the impression you get. And, Maybe it's a chicken and egg scenario. Maybe we get that impression uh, because yeah. of the movie. And I don't know. That could be. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't know what else to say. I, I just really liked it. I, I felt like it was exactly... It, 
it didn't surprise me necessarily, but if I if I was to imagine my best case scenario for this movie, this would have been it. Wouldn't but, a five have been your best case scenario? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I... You didn't I, want to like it a, a five? Well, it's not a five, because like 2001 is a five. And, oh, I see. And, you know, it's just... You gotta have stay. I give out too many fives. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Box no, I understand. Yeah. You're very positive. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let me let me say this. Uh, I know. And often, when we're talking about movies on the show, we talk about pacing. Yeah. And I think this movie started on the slow end, but then it really picked up steam. And by the end, you have uh, his training montage, and you go to him going to the ringside in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah. Was it middle of the night? I mean. Must have been because Adrian was sleeping. Right. And I just felt like, yes, I mean, after what we've seen and what he's now achieved, there's really nowhere to go from here except for to the main event, the finale. Yeah. So I just thought at the whole end of the movie was, I think, well paced. Yeah. The beginning felt a little slow for me. I was really worried at the beginning. I wasn't going to like it. But yeah. Yeah, four, four and a half. I don't know. I'm not sure where I'll I, land. I think that two things I'd say about the beginning pacing. Number one, I think it is a cultural thing and i just mean by that like movies are paced faster these days Mm -hmm. and uh yeah just the way this stuff was paced back then but also number two i have a feeling that the pacing the beginning would not feel so slow on a rewatch because Mm -hmm. you already know the character you're already invested in him and i think there's a certain amount of uh, you're watching a movie like this you're trying to get a feel for who this character is right uh and part of why the pacing picks up is that we get on board with him and so if you start the movie and you're already on board with him, I have a feeling that, that it wouldn't uh, seem quite as slow in the second time through. Another funny, like, favorite slash funny line is he's on TV. <laughs> he's like, yes. I just want to say something to my girlfriend. <laughs> Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. <laughs> so awesome. It was pretty so great. Or when, so I mentioned the click with the light switch, and then you noticed yeah. when he was walking by the meat. He said, moo. Did they say moo? Yeah, I think he said moo. Okay. <laughs> So weird. Either move or move. Uh, I hear your phone buzzing. Do I okay. do I answer it on the show? It's, it's all right. Okay. Uh, there was some other things I wanted to mention. Okay, how about this? Let's just end it by projecting, predicting what might happen next. So I, I think I do know one line in a movie in the future. Okay. Do you want me to tell yeah, it to you? Yeah, have it. I thought it was going to happen in this movie, but uh, maybe when I say it, you'll recognize it. There is a line I believe in some of the rock or one of the Rocky movies that says, "Yo, Adrian, I did it." Does that sound oh, familiar? Oh, yeah, that does sound familiar. I thought that was at the end of this one, though. Yeah, so I listened, and I didn't hear him say it like that. It's possible that as pop, col- pop culture has taken on that line, right. they've changed it just... It's a it's a played against Sam scenario. Like, you know, the line from Casablanca, played against Sam, that's not a direct quote from the movie. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, maybe it's like that. So maybe it's that, or maybe he wins a championship in a future movie, which I think is a pretty I think he will. likely scenario. With, with six more movies, he better going to win a championship. <laughs> Uh, I I think there will be a rematch with Apollo Creed. You do I, think so? I don't think it, I don't know if it will be in two or three. They went out of their way to say no rematch a bunch of times. Yeah, but the, he was upset. All right. Well, why do you think Rocky didn't moment. want a rematch though? He wasn't upset. He just barely survived. Yeah, they do it once. Did you think Rocky was going to win though? Uh, I, I thought it was. I, How could he not? It's his movie. Uh, I thought I would have said yes at the beginning of the movie, but then. It got closer to the end. I kind of, like, after there was that line you pointed out where he's like, I just got to get to the finish line or whatever he yeah. said, or go to the distance. Uh, then I thought, yeah, that they're probably going to end it with him losing but surviving and going the full 15 rounds. In some ways, I think that was the better choice. I, I agree. More realistic. Yeah, because sure. beating this world champion after five weeks of training would be slightly unrealistic. Yeah, and- he had a montage. That's true. So that helps. I think Apollo Creed came off as a pretty good character also. Like, a, yeah. not a bad guy. He wasn't an evil villain. No, he's not evil at all. I think, yeah. you know, he uh, he certainly came across as arrogant. Yeah, but he is the best in the world. That's true. He certainly earned it. All right, it. so second movie, you're thinking Apollo Creed's coming back? Second or third, I don't know. Should which. we just look at the cover and see if he's coming uh, back? We, we should have a surprise. Okay. I know he comes back at some point. You're 100% positive. 100% okay, I didn't positive. know that. I would have thought this would have been his only appearance in the series. Well, but then you're going to get Creed later. Well, yeah, but that's his kid. Yeah. But so it's like a nice flashback to the first movie. That's true. Okay, so second movie, I think Rocky wins the championship. I agree. He uh, has to. He'll have a belt. He'll have a belt. Yeah. 
Not I don't just, know if you get multiple belts in boxing. Well, I bet there's different, I don't know, levels. <laughs> yeah. Remember there's like the white belt, the yellow belt. Right. Black belt's the best. Oh, yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Should we do a Karate Kid franchise <laughs> remake? No, you know what we should the- do? Three Ninjas. Oh. Do you remember Three Ninjas? I do remember The kid. Ninjas. Wait, is, it, is that what it's called? The kids that were ninjas? No, it's just called Three Ninjas. Yeah, right. I know it's, it's not, not called, called the kids that. No, were I knew that. I just wanted to make sure that you knew what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. they, they were surfers, I think. Hulk Hogan wasn't in this movie, or uh, Mr. T. Yeah, so on a previous episode we recorded, but haven't uh, released yet. Episode, yeah, I know yeah. it's probably the next episode. Uh, we were kind of making some not predictions, but we were saying, "What do you know about Rocky?" And I thought Hulk Hogan and Mr. T were both in Rocky, but then I realized there no. was a different boxing movie called No Holds Barred. And I think yeah. that is... I feel it was for the best that Hulk Hogan and Mr. T were absent <laughs> from the cast. I don't, I don't know if they would have helped matters. Oh, man. Okay, so next movie he wins the championship. And then what happens in 3, 4, and 5? Those are the bad ones, right? You said you knew that there were two that were good? Uh, I think three... I, I think through three is good. And then it goes downhill. One, two, and three are all good. That's what I've heard. Okay. I know he's going to fight the Russian guy. Yes. Okay. Do you know his name? I forgetting it. I don't know either. So there is a Russian bad guy in one of these movies. I thought actually I thought the Russian guy was named Apollo Creed. I didn't know. Oh, no. But that's not the case. I knew that wasn't it. Like, uh, hmm. Don't, don't try to guess. Just don't, just don't just don't try to guess. <laughs> this always goes bad. Uh all right. So then so we're going to have five kind of classic times movies. Yeah. The sixth movie came out just a few years back. Right called Rocky Balboa, and I heard that was good. Yeah. Apparently. And then the seventh movie, Creed, just came out last year, and that got a lot of reviews, and or positive reviews, and I feel like that might be part of the reason we're watching all these old movies. Yeah, I think so. So, all oh, right. Well, good stuff. So this is a great start to rocking it with Rocky. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Me too. So, should we wrap this up? I think so. All right, well, that's all from here. I'm Matt Anderson. And I'm Ben DiBono. And we are the Sci-Fi Christians. Signing off. I'll prepare the episode, but then wait for your cue to release it, since you have to release the Star Wars one first. Sure. Yeah, and then I'll edit our dinner and a movie episode that we just recorded. That's going to be Is classic. this still on right now? It is, yeah. So they're still listening to us talk? Yep. Hi, everybody. Well, thanks for joining us here. Yeah, thank you. If you have any other franchises that aren't related to science fiction or fantasy That's or true. genre this fiction that you'd like us to dive into. This doesn't fit our uh, name at all. This was mostly... I think we're finally... Moving over into pop culture. Yeah. Which we already have, but... Yeah, I agree. We've we've spent five years doing genre. Give us a break. We can do exactly. a little a little bit of sports-themed movies. We want to watch Rocky. We want to watch Rocky. And this is a great thing to do. Here Mini episode. Are. Yeah. Well, All right. I kind of feel like this is a good time to end. Yeah, All right, I'll well, go shut her down. All right. Well, everybody, so long, folks. Everybody. What about the video? Is that still happening? Yeah, I'll shut it off. Should we say goodbye to everybody listening there? Uh, I think we just did. Well, let's, let's say something else. Okay. Let's give them a bonus feature. All right. What's something that we didn't mention in the show that can be bonus just for the video watchers? Well, this fish is named Moby Dick, so nice literary reference there. I love that he had those turtles. Yeah, the turtles really funny. I, and, oh, oh, we should have mentioned this, but when Mickey... Oh, how could we not mention Mickey? Oh, um, yeah, my, the penguin. Yeah, so the, first of all, Mickey was played by Meredith Burgess, who is the penguin. I kind of want this on the real episode. Can we bring that mic back over? We'll let there be some pause so that you can quickly, easily edit. Where do you want me to edit it into? Post credit. I forgot, everybody. We have to mention the penguin from the Batman 1966 show that I love was in this movie, but he wasn't the penguin. It was just the actor uh, Meredith Burgess. Who played Mickey, who's a pretty big character. Yeah, I liked him. So, well, I was going to make this a bonus feature for the video, but I guess the bonus feature was seeing us decide to talk about this here. Yeah. But I love this scene where Mickey goes to Rocky's apartment and he's he kind of threatens the turtles like, oh, she makes him soup. And Rocky <laughs> looks so angry. It looks like he's about to murder him. And yeah. then when he chases him down the street to try to reunite and make up and now I do want you to be his manager... Or be my manager. Right. When Penguin sees him coming, he kind of like backs up, so I'm afraid. Of. Well, not Penguin, Matt, Max. Mickey. Mickey. Yeah. yeah. So you get the point.
Exactly. All right. Well, that's all I really wanted to say on right. the podcast and on the video. So let's, for real, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. So long, folks.